Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim El Kavadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone because they do real well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Uh, this is the prophet Yano Zaran with the SOYWY Charleston, South Carolina branch. Uh, I'm just staying outside, minding my own business, listening to my music on my phone. And I can't help but notice what looks like a chariot just gliding across the sky. So uh, I want to pull out my cell phone and kind of record the whole thing. I know you brothers see it. So it's a beautiful thing. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. what I see on a regular basis. I'm not used to seeing the move. Uh, today is October the 4th, and today is when the uh, so-called signal went out. The 5G signal got activated, and that's when uh, it looks like the chariot is starting to disappear. But um, that's when the uh, 5G towers, I guess, got turned on, whatever the case may be, and uh, a signal went out. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still in the flesh, and you know, I'm still human too. So, yeah, I got nervous, but at the same time, I prayed to y'all about Shemal Shah, and then, you know, that's pretty much it. I just, you know, because we have no power to do anything, so our best bet is to pray to y'all about Shemal Shah. I'm gonna go out and have a seat. Yeah, like I was saying, our best bet is to pray to y'all about Shemal Shah in all situations. We pray that he delivers us. That's why it's, uh, it's so important that we be on y'all about Shah. It's good side. Um, but yeah, anyway, I guess the, the signal went out today or whatever the case may be. But my, uh, my dad, he took the uh, vaccinations back in 2020. And uh, most people that took the vaccinations, which I'm speaking to code right now because I don't want them to take the video down. But a lot of people that uh, took the vaccinations, you saw vaccinations. They, um, a lot of them have been dropping dead of cardiac arrest, which is a heart attack. But um, the frequency that went out, I was expecting it to make people go, uh, excuse my French, make them go ape shit. Yeah, but that didn't happen. And um, all, all praise to you, Al and Al Shai for that. I really didn't know what to expect. A lot of it's just uh, fear mongering, anyways. You know, um, but, you know, we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble when all hell's about to break loose. So I guess Yahweh Bashima Shai, he's uh he's performing tests to see if we're gonna panic like everyone else in the rest of the world or we're gonna turn to him. We're gonna pray to Yahweh Bashima Shai you know, for our protection and guidance. And uh, that's what makes you a righteous soul. But, you know, uh the chariots of Yahweh Bashima Shai are here. And that's why Esau is getting scared because he uh, he knows he has but a short time. Uh, he's about to come down with great wrath, and we're just waiting for it to all. Uh, we're just waiting for all hell to break loose. So when I say we, I'm talking about us, the prophets. Boys, will up your by Shemal was shot. But um, yeah, so lucky for the ransom. Yeah, but that was a chariot, a uh, so-called spaceship. Uh, it was headed somewhere. I'm not sure where, but uh, I was just caught up in the moment, so. Well, I put the spirit on me to go ahead and you know, record the whole thing. But, um, uh, Slock, uh, I was caught up in the moment, so I, I couldn't bring out any precepts. But, um, like I said, we're coming to the time of Jacob's trouble, which goes into Jeremiah chapter 30, uh, verse 7. And you can read that when you get the opportunity. Yeah, but all hell's about to break loose, so, uh, the Lord has his chariots here in place. You know, so when all hell breaks loose, uh, you know, the men of the Lord will be protected. You know, different men of the Lord are going to see angels. You know, some men of the Lord are going to receive spiritual power. And I'm hoping to be a part of that number. Because things are going to get so bad, you know. If you don't have your Abba Shah on your team, you're pretty much out of luck, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I'll keep for all the ranting. Uh, Lord's will, it may be out of fine. Until next time, I want to say, Call Halayim Laya, Al Bashim Ashai, Al Bashim Akar Radash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elizabeth Mill Son because they do real well. Peace and citations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.